two bobcats sighted November 13th and 14th, 2018. Two bobcats sighted by Paul and Dorothy Zimmerman. Duck Creek Crossing 3 on November 13th, 2018 at about 5.30 p.m. My wife was walking our dog near the Duck Creek Pond. As they were walking behind the houses on Veracruz Drive, she noticed a bobcat attacking one of the Muscovy ducks we had purchased to put on the pond, in the water. She started yelling at the duck and started running toward the pond. The bobcat dropped the duck and started running when Guinness, 75-pound pit bull slash Bengal mix, started chasing him. He chased the bobcat to the trees behind the houses on San Gabriel by the Jehovah Witness Church on O'Banion. On November 14th, one of our neighbors from near Durango and Veracruz stopped by and said he saw two bobcats on his deck, and they did not run from him in fear. He said one was a very large bobcat about 30 inches tall at the tips of the ears. If your small dogs, cats, and small children or grandchildren are outside please watch them closely. And bring small dogs, cats, in when not attended. Both sightings have been reported to the animal control. You could hear the squirrel barking as it was you know, being hauled off into the storm drain. This bobcat is making quite a name for itself in a northeast Dallas neighborhood. Oh my god. Nicole Ortez shot the video about two weeks ago. I know that me and my mom were pretty freaked out about it. The sightings are now almost daily. At this intersection, at Annapolis and Berwyn. They're not unusual in Dallas. An expert at 911 Wildlife says bobcat and coyote populations are extremely high across the metroplex. There's a, a reddish, bigger one, and then there's a, a, a skin tan colored one. It's baby season, plus the mild winter produced more insects, rats, and snakes, and bobcats follow food. This street is lined with huge trees, the Ortez family says, used to be full of something that's now missing. Squirrel. This tree always had like four or five in them all the time. They were in this tree everywhere, but since then, I mean, that was probably the most squirrels I've seen in a long time, just in that front yard trying to get away from the bobcat. 911 Wildlife says there's not much you can do. Animal control will only come if they're injured, and you can't shoot guns in city limits. But you can honk, clap, stomp, or blow a whistle to scare them away. The moms with the babies and the, the moms that are walking around with the toy poodles and the chihuahuas that feel like they can't walk down the sidewalk anymore. Michael Ortez isn't scared. Good thing, because this bobcat's here to stay. Animals are animals aren't going to be where they are, so I don't think it's that big of a deal. In Dallas, Vanessa Brown, NBC5. Wildlife experts say bobcats and coyotes aren't losing their habitat because of construction. They actually follow the population. They say it is a waste of taxpayer dollars trying to eradicate them because they come back. And here's the website for the city of Mesquite concerning uh, wild animals. As Mesquite continues to grow, reports of bobcats living in the city have increased. The following information is provided to help residents understand and see exist with bobcats. If you see a bobcat that is sick, injured, or acting aggressively, dial 911 immediately. Otherwise, if you know of a bobcat living in your neighborhood, please report it by clicking here or calling Mesquite Animal Services at 972-216-6283. Bobcats typically weigh between 15 and 40 pounds, and are common across the entire United States. Although this cat is rarely seen in cities because of its shy, solitary, and reclusive nature, the urban population has been increasing in the DFW Metroplex for many years. Distinguishing features include tufted, pointed ears with large, black spots on the back sides, a short, bobbed tail, 4 to 6 inches in length, and rear legs which are disproportionately longer than front legs.
habitat many people accidentally and unknowingly encourage bobcats and other wild animals to live near their homes by leaving pet food outside, failing to pick up fallen fruit from trees, leaving pets to roam outdoors unattended, leaving bird seed on the ground, and leaving wood piles or dense vegetation to provide hiding places for wildlife. Most urban wildlife are opportunistic and omnivorous, meaning the animals will eat about anything, animal or vegetable matter, and will take the food that is easiest to get. Diet bobcats eat a variety of animal species, including mice, rats, squirrels, small fawns, wild birds, cottontails and rabbits. It's very unlikely, but possible, that free-roaming cats or small dogs left outside unattended can be an attractive option for not only bobcats, but any wildlife predator. Safety tips avoid walking through dense undergrowth where bobcats may be encountered. This is especially true in the spring when bobcats may be protective of their litters. If you see a bobcat, do not approach. Return the way you came or detour the area. Do not corner the animal. Keep pets confined to securely fenced areas. Walk dogs on leash and keep cats indoors. Do not leave pets unattended outdoors. In many cases, if bobcats are seen from a safe distance, you may be able to wait until they have left the area of their own accord before proceeding. Fences in good condition discourage wildlife from foraging on private property. Also, Eliminate thick undergrowth in landscaped areas.